All right, so today we are here at Macro Food Service. There are many branches around Thailand. I've brought you to the one closest to my house to show you some of the stranger things you can find in the Thailand supermarkets. Let's go. So first off, we have dragon fruit, which looks like this on the inside. We also have yellow dragon fruit, which is much more expensive, but it's white on the inside. It's really small, kind of looks a bit like a potato skin with the shape of a lychee. Next we have jackfruit, actual giant shrimps, pretty hectic. Okay, beef gallbladder. I'm not sure which one is the gallbladder. I think that one at the back. But somewhere here is a beef gallbladder. And um, yeah, I don't know about you, but I don't think I'll ever eat a beef gallbladder, ever. So I've eaten beef tongue before. That's not too weird for me, but beef lip. I don't think I've ever eaten the lip part, the outside of a cow. Yeah, it's probably more normal than the tongue, but not for me. Seems a bit like foreign to me. Now we have duck, pretty much every part of a duck you can imagine. We have a whole duck over here, but I'm more interested in this. They've got duck neck, they've got the lower jaw of the duck. Um, what else do we have going on here? Boneless breast, okay, that's pretty normal. I'll give them boneless duck breast, that's fine. Uh, duck fillet, that's fine duck intestines right here here's the fillet i mean those oats look very similar just a different texture duck feet uh, pretty much every part of a duck you can imagine i'm pretty sure there's internal organs here yeah. here's gizzards here's giblets here's just the skin liver these oats do not waste like it's here and i'd much rather buy it here in a very clean like refrigerated shop than I would in a market so I mean I don't have to buy it it's here it's kind of weird but yeah I think it's really cool that if you wanted to you could try this and, and if I want to try it I can but I don't think I ever want to try duck gizzard but if I want to I can the chicken skin also gets sold on its own I'm not sure why you would want just the skin but you can have that if that's what you want Oh my goodness, what is this? Chicken ovary. Okay. And there's some chicken mince. Okay, chicken mince is fine, but the ovaries? Um, okay. That's not what I want. What is this? Here we have uh, chicken uterus. Yummy. So the uterus and the ovary. That's amazing. I don't think that's healthy to eat, but. I mean, different strokes for different folks, I guess. Uh, teriyaki chicken. That sounds edible, but it's stored next to ovaries, so I don't think I'm ever going to buy that. I think I'll just put my own teriyaki sauce on chicken breasts that I buy somewhere over there, where they're not near the internal organs. <laughs> Although, technically, they were next to internal organs while they were in a chicken, so it's the same thing, I guess. <laughs> they have, like, normal skewers here, and then they have, like, the traditional chicken skewer. Let me show you the difference. So here's what I would call like a chicken kebab or a chicken skewer. A little bit smaller than what we would like eat as a society. But these are normal, right? Then you have this traditional one. Basically a giant piece of chicken on a stick. And it's like really big. Which I think is really cool. You see these on the side of the road all the time. I haven't tried it, but I definitely will add it to my bucket list. Um, I actually have to eat a lot more Thai food. I haven't eaten a lot of Thai food since coming to Thailand, which is weird. But I'll get used to it and I'll do that. I think 2023 I'll be a lot more adventurous in that regard. Here we have boar meat. We have whatever this is. Then we have the worms. Oh my goodness. We have silkworms. We have more silkworm. These look different though. We've got some deer meat. I don't think it should be by the worms, but okay. Then we have normal caterpillars. I'm sure there's some other kind of worms in here too. So that's... Not for me, but cool that they have like well-processed clean ones. They don't just pick them up off the floor and like 
put them in the street food I guess so it's nice that they actually do process them properly again we're coming to parts of animals I never thought were edible um, I've eaten beef tongue I did not know that pork tongue over here pork tongue uh, here's the intestine here is the tongue I didn't know that that was edible well I mean I guess anything's edible if you're brave but I didn't know people readily eat it there's a pork mask don't know what a pork mask is but that's a pork mask last time I was at this exact fridge these were a whole bunch of pig heads and there was like a loose head that had fallen out of the bag this just looks like skin today but I'll insert the clip of the head um, trigger warning I guess skip 10 seconds ahead if you don't want to see that yeah we also have like giant pieces of pork liver like this thick I don't know if that's something I want to eat but if you want to you can because Thailand the land of variety and then I don't know which one in here is the sow udder but you can buy a literal cow udder sow cow wait sow is a female pig oh my goodness you can buy a pig udder oh my goodness pork liver pork heart any part of the pig you want Thailand actually also has some plant-based options so it's not all meat and strange meats we also have a tiny little plant-based section lots of shops have bigger sections but let's check out what we have here we have some plant-based pork replacements at the back some chicken replacement obviously it's chicken light uh, some mince more mints and patties so yeah there's a little bit of a decent variety if you're looking to have a meat replacement quail eggs available in the shop uh, many dried mushrooms and other dried things that i honestly don't know what they are so here's a dried fungus mushroom thing here's some more different types here's whatever this is more of that okay that's bean curd there we go and this is a white fungus so that's a mushroom here's a different kind of mushroom 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 oh my goodness this says goldfish but i don't think it's fish i think it's mushroom yeah white fungus so yeah lots of dried products and i think all of this could actually taste delicious if i knew how to cook it i definitely haven't been for a thai cooking class yet and i want to i really want to be a lot more adventurous with my actual thai experience in 2023 when it comes to the food i've been avoiding most thai foods um, just because I don't know what it is and I don't like mystery meat so yeah but if I knew what it was I would go for it and they have a really nice selection of frozen fruits and yeah let me show you that here's some coconut meat we've got mango granadilla there's lime juice at the back we've got lychee meat we've got apricots peaches kiwis even avocado and then we've got some oranges and pomegranate seeds and here we have an entire section of berries so strawberry cranberry blackberry mixed berries cherries and raspberries so there's more than enough fruits if you want to have a smoothie there's a lot of fresh fruits as well i'm going to take you over to what i call mystery meat which is just little white meatballs and i don't know the pork looks the same as the fish which looks the same as the chicken it just confuses me that they're all the same color uh, i don't know i don't think my body likes that idea <laughs> Uh, let's find it for you. I don't know, maybe some of them can be nice, but every single one I've had so far, I just cannot like process it the the texture is just not for me i've eaten them i've just never enjoyed them so i avoid them so boiled red bean and some fruits and jellies and then these little flower balls are very common in thai desserts i actually have never had one of those thai desserts it also often includes corn maybe i'll try that in one of my next videos so it's just a little ball of like flour and coloring and it just goes in the dessert and yeah people enjoy it maybe it's delicious it doesn't sound delicious but can't knock it till i try it so yeah. so those were the frozen products i'm sure i've missed a few like different things i mean they've got a lot of like dim sum there's lots of like normal things i just didn't see the point of showing that right now maybe in another video 
but I want to show you like the open meat section where you like weigh your own meat they've got a little bit of everything in terms of beef and pork um, and every body part as well kind of just like the frozen section so let's take a look this is beef so we've got some oh my goodness a mess and whatever that is okay um, then we've got I think lip yummy it actually tastes very good I think I had that at my year in function I thought it was tongue but I think now it was lip and then yeah tongue at the back there it's really cool lots of variety and here we've got the chicken normal chicken gizzards I mean nothing weird about that this you wouldn't really find in South Africa boneless chicken feet um, okay I don't think we have the boneless one then he has the liver oh no that's blood chicken blood I mean, I haven't tried it, I don't plan to, but apparently it's delicious, so who knows. Big tail, big mask, big leg. It all is just strange because of the type of, like, part of the animal it is. But I don't actually think it's unhygienic at all. This looks extremely clean and they handle it very hygienically. There's a leg bone, that's pretty cool, I've never seen that before. And here we have a whole bunch of internal organs. So, yeah. so just to be clear, I'm not knocking the hygiene of macro. I think it's super awesome. I think everything in there is clean. And if you're going to be eating those parts of the animals, definitely rather buy it at a place that's refrigerated like macro, as opposed to in a random like street market where everything is exposed to a lot of heat, a lot of germs, possibly flies. So yeah, definitely buy it if you want it. I just think it's interesting that you can buy these things. I've never even considered eating them let alone buying them at a regular shop so yeah it's just been very interesting to me eye-opening that different cultures have different things obviously i knew that but i didn't think to this extent 